Chinese military researchers say the country must be able to disable or destroy SpaceX's Starlink satellites if they threaten national security. Chinese state researchers call for the development of anti-satellite capabilities against Elon Musk's SpaceX Starlink satellite internet constellation, citing the potential military applications of the broadband system and the threat to China's national security. In today's video, we are going to discuss the Elon Musk anti-missile helping Taiwan from China. According to an article published last month, China needs to develop anti-satellite capabilities, including a surveillance system with unprecedented scale and sensitivity to track and monitor every Starlink satellite. Starlink consists of thousands of satellites in near-Earth orbit coupled with ground terminals, offering its users high-speed internet access. With over 2,300 satellites in operation, Starlink is considered a robust and durable system, capable of functioning even if some of its satellites have been retired. The study was led by Ren Yuanzhen, a researcher at the Beijing Institute of Telecommunications and Monitoring under the Strategic Support Force of the PLA. The co-authors included several high-level scientists in the Chinese defense sector. Ren and his colleagues could not be reached immediately for comment, and it is unclear to what extent their views represent an official position of the Chinese military or government. A combination of soft and hard kill methods must be used to render some Starlink satellites inoperable and destroy the Constellation's operating system, says the paper, published in the national peer-reviewed journal Modern Defense Technology. Starlink is the most ambitious satellite communications project in history, providing broadband internet services to corporate and military users around the world. SpaceX founder Elon Musk has enjoyed widespread popularity in China as a model for innovation. But criticism of Musk and his companies has increased significantly after two Starlink satellites came dangerously close to the Chinese space station last year. Ren estimated that U.S. military drones and stealth fighters could increase data rates by more than 100 times with a Starlink connection. Ground lasers are also not feasible, as they should be very powerful to overcome atmospheric distortion and damage multiple Starlink satellites in low orbit. This would mean that such a laser would require excessively high power levels, which may not be feasible to generate. China has developed an ultra-high-powered microwave weapon that could be mounted on its satellites. This killer hunter weapon, known as the relativistic Klistron amplifier, could target Starlink satellites to burn their sensitive electronics. However, deleting Starlink satellites individually can be an inefficient method of bringing down the system. Additionally, adding an RKA device aboard a satellite can affect its performance, as the device itself may overheat and burn under intense microwave radiation. Therefore, China can develop anti-satellite weapons that can take out multiple satellites at once. X-ray lasers are an example of this technology. The concept of X-ray lasers dates back to the 1970s when ion-amplified lasers were discovered to have much more energy than gas-amplified ones, and nuclear explosions were envisioned as a source of energy for these powerful lasers. Starlink Cooperation with U.S. Military China Military Online's comment listed the numerous cases since 2019 in which Starlink partnered with the U.S. military, which also included the data transmission test successfully conducted by the U.S. Air Force on March 31. The test aimed to assess and explore high-speed communications in support of F-35A operations in remote or austere locations, and the USAF said it witnessed connection speeds around 30 times faster than current military satellite systems. An unmanned wingman equipped with a Starlink device can act as a tactical transmission platform to transmit data to fighter jets, which means that an operator can command a large number of UAVs to perform tasks simultaneously, the article reads, citing an anonymous expert. He also raised the possibility, again citing unnamed experts, that Starlink could form a second independent internet that would threaten the sovereignty of state cyberspace. Some experts have said that if SpaceX installs some root servers in space, it could Starlink into the second independent global internet, which will pose a serious challenge for all countries to defend their sovereignty in cyberspace and protect the security of your information, the Chinese military said in an online article. How Starlink Helped Ukraine Fight Russia Ukraine Along much of the Ukraine-Russia front line, commercial cell phone towers providing voice and internet services have been brought down by power outages, Russian bullets and interference. But Elon Musk's Starlink service, which provides internet connectivity via a swarm of satellites, is up and running here. Musk has shipped thousands of kits to Ukraine, turning the country into a high-profile testbed for the service, which he is looking to sell to other countries around the world. Ukrainian officials and officers at headquarters and in the field 
credit Starlink for keeping their forces connected. Without Starlink, we would have already lost the war, said a platoon commander on the Izium Front, where Russian forces are trying to push south to capture the Donbass region. Musk's move carries reputational risks if the service doesn't live up to its billing. His intervention in the war on the side of Ukraine also risks incurring the ire of Moscow and alienating governments that are friendly or fearful of Russia. These could include markets in which Starlink, owned by Musk's Space Exploration Technologies Corps or SpaceX, could one day hope to compete. Tell us in the comments section what our thoughts on the topic. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you liked watching our content, please consider subscribing to our channel by clicking the subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.